Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're returning, thank you so much. Don't forget to leave a like down below and a comment and share this video to anyone you think that might be interested in it. So today I am going to make the long awaited cost of living video that I promised from 2020. I did say I would do a follow up video in 2020. Two. No, I did it. No, 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 no. That's a lie. I did it in 2021. I think that's right. And I said I would make a follow up video in 2022. Right. Yeah, I think I think that's right. But I'm gonna leave a link to that video um down below. And it is about cost of living for first year ALTs living in Japan and working for Interact. And it um shows a breakdown of my expenses and um salary with inter i'm a little stuffy i have a flu yeah so that's what i'm doing today however it's an updated version because it's for second year so um the price is reflecting here oh sorry is from april 1st of 2021 to march 31st of 2022 so this is reflecting my second year here and it's totally different from my first trust me well the salary is the same but the expenses are different so i would um suggest that you stick around if you are currently living in japan and you're new here and you're planning to spend a second year or if you are planning to move to japan and um planning to be here for more than a year i highly suggest that you watch this video because the expenses are like really different if you're working with Interact, different companies different things you know and please bear in mind that every situation is different. So these are my prices. Um, what my um, all ALTs might get the same pay working with Interact at base salary, but these um, the expenses might be different. That's what I'm trying to say. Every situation is different. ESID. That's something you learn with Interact too. If you're planning to come here with Interact, and also something else to note um, when I made the first video the yen was about uh, 92 um one usd equal 92 yen i think at the time that was a conversion rate i'll leave it here if i if i'm incorrect but if i'm close like i'm just gonna yeah and a yen was about one yen was about one dollar 28 29 jmd but now the yen is like the yen is less than the JMB. One USD is like 149 or 48 yen. Yeah, anyways, enough rambling. You're here for this, but I'm just like trying to paint the picture where um, the prices are here. So, um, base salary, still the same, and it's public knowledge, 215,000 yen. That's the base salary. Um, well, that's my base salary. I don't know if anyone's getting anything different working with Interact um car i do get allowances so i'm giving you here my gross salary um car allowance eighteen thousand four hundred yen and uh, position allowance nine thousand yen i don't know if everyone gets a position allowance but i do and it's nine thousand yen i think it has to do with driving i'm not sure anyways um i do get a commuting allowance of 868 yen 868 yen that can't buy gas but anyways yeah so that's a grand total of 243,268 yen right and i will try to do a little um comparison with regards to the us um the jmd and the yen after this video but um and i also recheck my math because i did it in a hurry i just initially had just the prices and i didn't calculate them and now i'm calculating them like right before i started this video anyway so that's like gross salary 243,268 yen please bear in mind that these conversions were made in October of 2022 so um, whenever you're watching the video the conversion might be different okay so now let's jump into the deductions um, so first deduction is my rent 
um, and that's 60,410 yen for a very tiny apartment and that's including parking because the rent is 54,910 yen for the apartment alone and the parking is 5,500 yen yeah and then the the car fee so um i do pay 37,481 yen i'm giving you all the as close as possible to the figures as i can if i can have the correct figure i'm gonna have it here and this is the correct figure for the car um not here Ooh. anyways <laughs> my phone bill is 2753 yen and that's a lot less than last year um last year i was paying something like 6800 yen and it had something to do with the fact that the phone that i was using at the time was um from the company um so i was paying for the phone as well but so that has decreased i bought my own phone and um i just have a sim only plan and that's for 20 gb data so that's pretty good i think um income tax is usually around 6500 yen and then employment insurance is 750 yen so um that's a total deduction of 107,894,000 yen so i um subtracting that from the uh gross salary i am left with 135,374 yen mm -mm, getting depressing right anyways and i still have a lot of bills to pay after that just like the last video i know some people are gonna ask where do you need a car i am in a driving position my contract is driving I'm on a driving contract so i do need a car whether it's my owner from my company and i also live in a rural area where buses aren't very frequent so i guess that's why they give me a position um a car allowance to go towards the car fee and this is for the entire month this is supposed to serve me for the entire month um i have a yes so that's for the hot water because my stove is uh electric yeah so gas is around 4,000 yen on average. Just, I'm doing an average now because I'm like trying to give you a figure throughout the year. So on average, it's about 4,000 yen. Um, it does go down to as low as 2,000 yen when um, the time is warm, like summer times, and as high as six um, during winter times. So as you know, you need a lot of hot water. You need hot water to do everything. Um, light is usually about 5,500 yen. I think I'm doing something really, really wrong when it comes to light because I see people complaining that their light bill is like 5,000. And I'm like, huh? My light bill goes up sometimes to 7,500, 7,800. It, it, it hardly gets to like 3,000. So I think I might be doing something wrong and I should start thinking about responsible consumption because I must be doing something wrong when my light bill is this high. Yeah. So, um, and that's like an approximate, and water bill is 6,000, approximately 6,000 yen. And bear in mind, you don't pay this every month. This is every other month. So on average, it would be like 3,000 each month. But just leave it at six for um, just calculation, because usually that's what I get in the bill, about 6,000 yen. Um, now we have uh, insurance so i work 20 i'm on a 29.5 hour contract so i at the time yeah from march uh april 1st 2021 to march 31st 2022 i was on a 29.5 hour contract um so i was on shakai hoken i was on national insurance so not social insurance and my insurance payment uh, was 16,000 yen remember if you watch the other video that I will link down below the first year I was paying 2,100 for insurance and it went all the way up to 16,000 yen um the first payment wasn't even 16,000 I think it was something like 16,400 yen you know I should check though because like I made sure oh I made sure I, I did the calculations because I like to keep track of everything I have all my bills here they're all labeled uh, water gas electric insurance city tax old receipts 
I got them all. They're they're organized by. <laughs> yeah, I know some people might think it's weird. They're organized by that date. So each time I get a new one, I just put it at the front. Yeah. So the first year I was paying about two thousand one hundred yen. I'm making myself very comfortable right now. About two thousand one hundred yen. And then last year it went up to sixteen thousand yen. Um yeah so that's like a big big jump but but the only good thing about it it's eight payments it's not for 12 months it's eight payments yeah but to like that's majority of the ones <laughs> eight payments I, i'm trying to be as transparent as possible it's eight payments not 12. um city tax city tax city tax First year here, you do not have to pay city tax your first year in Japan. That's why I'm saying this video is very important if you're spending more than one year here, right? First year, you don't have to pay city tax. Second year, for me, my city tax was um, four payments. Four payments of... Uh, four payments of 20,000. The first payment was 20. 24,000 and the next three payments was um 20,000 afterwards so i think i paid 84,000 for city tax that's a big jump out of my annual salary it's a whole lot of money that i could have saved in my opinion um, so as i mentioned water is every other month um city tax is four payments and insurance is uh, eight payments so i didn't do a breakdown on the screen for these because um they're not every month um but i'll still give you the figures you know what i am just just imagine because some it happens very very often like for me this month is happening where you have to pay all these bills at the same time so, so those just, um deductions are a total of fifty one thousand five hundred in because some months you're gonna have to pay all of those all of those right so um when you subtract that from the 135,374 yen you are left with 84,374 yen that would be good um if you didn't have other things to do because like that would be a good amount of money to like go out if you want to go out or like save um but i still have to buy food and food prices have increased since i got here like a lot so on average i don't know probably i'm eating too much now, or i am going for more expensive things <laughs> it's very obvious i'm eating too much but anyways let's get into that but like i spend on average a monthly for food through um twenty five let let's put it at 25 30 no i'm gonna put it at thirty thousand yen so food and household items like bleach toiletries and so forth you know um laundry i use a lot of laundry detergent anyways <laughs> yes um so on average monthly for sanitary products wholesale products and cleaning cleaning products and food i spend um approximately thirty thousand yen and um oh i should have included gas before i also have to buy gas for my car that is uh approximately five thousand yen a month all right so that's not bad that's still not too bad it's bad but not too bad let me do this math in my head i didn't write it down i think that's 40 that's leaving forty nine thousand three hundred and seventy four yen um if i'm wrong i'll just put it somewhere yeah so that's leaving that but i still need to go out i like going places i need to buy stuff yeah I need to send money home. I need to, you know, do other things. <laughs> so I'm left with 49,374 yen. Um, just on this paper. I'm never left with that to do when I do my budget. But on this paper, looking on this paper, I'm left with 49,374 yen, which is not bad. And um, I can't save out of that. Um, but I can't really splurge on going out. One Disney ticket is like 9,000 at the end. Um, so yeah, that's it for this year. I'm left with like, after all my necessary expenses um, are taken out because I need to feed myself, clean my house and stuff. I'm left with like 49,374 yen approximately 
to do other stuff, go out, save, send home. I can't send home much out of that. Um, I do need to mention I have a second job, which helps me like to go out and buy, I buy stuff, I like buying nice things, I like buying myself nice things. I like being able to send home money sometimes, you know, I have family back home sometimes. <laughs> I like to send money home when I can, and I like buying nice things. So my second job really, really, really helps to work for that out. Yeah. So I need to mention that. So I have a second job and the pay varies because I work hourly there. So it really helps me to save a little out of my second job. All right, since I will not be making this video next year, I am going to just give you a quick run around of this year, which is insane to me because, yeah, this is um, from April 1st, 2022. So April 1st, 2022, just a quick, it's going to take like two minutes. Um, my salary is still the same. 215000 and I'm not going to go through everything. Um... The only thing changed was my position allowance changed uh, from 9,000 to 18,000 yen. So I'm getting an additional 9,000 yen monthly. Yeah, that's it for the increase. However, that nine, look at 9,000 yen shouldn't, I should have gotten a lot more I think in my opinion because I am no longer working 29.5 hours i'm working a full 40 hour weeks week gosh damn it, i'm teaching english a full 40 hour week for almost the same period remember i know that's an additional 10 hour 10 and a half hour weekly that's like an additional 40 something that's an additional about 42 hours a month and i only got a increase of 9000 yen 9000 um, the other thing that has changed is my city tax went from zero in the first year um, to 20,000 in the second year to 40,000. 40,000. Yeah. What am I saying? Not 40. 41,000. I, I have the bill right here right now to go pay. 41,000 yen per month. The first payment was 44. So it went from 84 for the year to 167,000 yen in my third year. Yeah. The other thing that has changed, I'm no longer paying the eight payments of um, 16,000 for my, my insurance because since I'm working a full 40 hour week, I am no on social insurance which is called shakai hokin so my health insurance is being taken from my salary directly also it's tied in with my pension so now i'm paying pension so that's something else additional so health insurance and pension is tied into one now and it's now thirty two thousand every single month I'm hardly left with anything, you know, and it's really, really bothering me. It's not a time to rant now because I could do a, a lot more hours at my second job last year and make a little money to buffer up. But this year, I, I can't hardly go there because I don't have the time. I'm working a full 40 hour shift um, and I can't even get any money from my second job because I'm always at school. I'm making way less money for doing more work and it's bothering me. Yeah, so just a quick, I did say two minutes, two to three minutes. I'm now paying pension. It's tied in with my health insurance and it's being drawn directly from my salary. My city tax went from 84,000, 84, sorry, for the four payments um, to 167,000 for the four payments. So first was 44, second 41, third 41, fourth 41 i'm on my third payment now yeah so that's it guys thank you so much for watching today's video i know it's a very long video um but i think it's very important for people to know if you're planning to move to japan um hope things will change in your second year and in your third year um for some people though it will definitely remain the same if you're not working for interact um if you come come here on a full 40 hour week it probably will just remain the same since you'll be paying like insurance and pensions pension and everything will be tied in 
um, from the first year. The only thing that might change is the city tax, which I hear that if you file for a dependent, you can get it reduced. I don't know how to do that. I'm going to need to get some help because like, I can't be paying so much money. Anyways, thanks again. And please share this to someone who is planning on moving to Japan. Someone who has just moved here. Or someone who you think might find is interesting. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.